We hope you're having a great day. Our topic today is going to be applying for a visa. So that would be a Canadian visa. It is going to be a little different in other countries. So in this video, it's in relation to applying for a Canadian visa. And we're going to go through a few steps. There's actually going to be uh, not just one video. There's going to be a, a few videos. So you're going to need to watch each one of them because we're going to try to break them up to make it easier for you to follow along. Otherwise, this video will be for hours. So we're going to step back and start right from the very beginning in this video. Okay, but this is all about getting an actual Canadian visa for your Filipina to come visit. So we started off in relation to um, a plan. So the plan was for Bella to be applying for a visa. So to apply for a visa, do you know what to actually do, guys? There's quite a bit involved. And my understanding is, is there's over 50% failure out there. Some people say 63% rating. There's a lot of failures. And there's a lot of people that don't share the failures. So, point one, your Filipina should end up having uh, a bank account. And that bank account should be already in existence for a few years, not just set up now. So that's number one, having a bank account. And having a couple different bank accounts, not in the same bank, but use different banks and have a savings and then have another account where she'd be paying for her bills for a lease and in and out money coming in and out showing from her working funds coming in <coughs> those items are all going to be very important so number one making sure your filipina has a bank account a couple years number two Obviously, go get a passport. So you're going to go get your passport because a lot of Filipinos don't even have a passport. So that's a fairly easy process of just getting a passport. So now once you've gone to that stage, you're all excited. You want to visit Canada, for example. So what do you do? Stay tuned and watch the next video, guys. We have a lot of information to share with you. So this is just the beginning. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello so guys. this is our second video now in regards of getting, uh, working on getting a visa to leave the Philippines to come to Canada. So it's a Canadian visa. Um, if you uh, watch the previous video, which we have the link below. Go back to that and it's in relation to getting a passport. And Bella's gonna share what she had to do to actually get her passport. Hello guys, so I just want to sharing about the first time I get my passport is I going there the Robinson Mall they're in Domagiti and then um, through online bit and then I fill up the online and then I looking for the schedule and then after the schedule um, just message my email and then after I receive the email my appointment I came there in the Robinson I pay, I pay in the lower and then after I pay the lower na, I I photocopy that the I received the email the mga three papers that I photocopy and then after that 
I pass there in the office na up, up there's there in the Robinson second floor and then after that um, just take a picture and then you are not allowed to lipstick earrings so nothing it's the normal looks you want to wear the decent looks like the t-shirt like that normal and then after that well professional you yeah. want to look professional you look professional and then after that the take a picture you giving you just waiting the mga couple days and then you message with you to claim your passport but in regards when you fill out the application there was obviously a obviously some information that yeah. you had to give they have the some, requirements they have the some requirement requirements through online when you get there in the passport because you know it's a very popular the online now so when you're going there in the online the site uh, do you have to do a clearance do you you just, clearance? what what information did you have to provide do you remember now because you mentioned that, to me there are certain things that you that had to provide. That you're providing the, your, your complete details, your name, and then your father, oh, so your it's, mother. It's, so it's not the, the Philippines uh, ID number? No, it's not. It's, oh, okay. it's all about my family oh, okay. to fill up there in the website. And then after the fill up the website, it's... You, you message the site, your email, your email you an and email. then you receive the email. So it was pretty simple. Yeah, very simple, guys. But still, you had but to... You so, need to follow the site, what you what you sending the email. So it sounds like what you had to do at the very beginning is just fill out information. Yeah, just fill out the information. And giving out your personal yeah. and family information. Yeah. Right? And then you sent that in, and how much was it? Do you did you have to pay then? I just. I, Do you remember the fee cost? Do you remember? Sorry right if you don't remember. It's been I'm a not while. remember how it's been much. Been a few years now, guys. Three, few four years. years na, mga, but you did have to. Yeah. You did have to pay, right? Make a payment. I, I'm not. I'm be, the before the that I fill up. I nothing to payment. It just to. But you had to make a payment though. Yeah, I have a make okay. payment. So that's but... what we want to we want people to realize yeah. that you had to make a payment. So there is a payment, guys. You will have to pay to end up getting a passport. So what I gather is you filled out the application, you ended up going you're in Dumaguete, so you went to Robinson and there was what upstairs, downstairs? What's upstairs? Second floor. Well, but there's only the two upstairs, floors. There's only two floors in Robinson. When you Robinson. pay your the passport, guys, because you done about the fill up the website and then you sending your the email that the paper to to printing maybe mga three paper to so yeah, that three is copies? said to pass there mga three copies to pass there and then after that because you looking how, how much to pay so that the time to pay at the lower yeah so you have to check to find reason. out i'm sure it, what she paid back yeah. quite a few years ago now is not going to be the same in 2014 and moving and then forward after that I coming back in the second floor upstairs because. So you went downstairs to pay. Yeah, the the downstairs to pay. So and you then, pay downstairs yeah. and then go back upstairs. And then go back to <coughs> second floors upstairs and then that time they have a light line up. Okay, so there's so, a line and then yeah, you just so so you took your picture yeah. went out anything else just your picture. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then gone. And then gone. And, and, and then, then you just waiting for a couple days to receive. To, to receive the message, you you want to claim your passport. Ah, That's so it. you go back again, and where did yeah. you go? Where did you go to pick it up? Back there in the Robinson. But top floor or bottom floor? Second floor. That's upstairs. the top floor. Yeah. Okay, guys. So there you go. That will help any Filipinas that are watching this or Filipinos. Um, basically, you're going to fill out the application. You're going to go online for your passport. You can fill it out. I'm sure there likely is information of what the fee is now for whatever year you're doing it for. Once you fill that out, you're going to get an email uh, to go there. You're going to go there, give them more information, 
Then it sounds like you go downstairs to make a payment. Uh, then you wait for a confirmation to come back. Then you end up coming back to pick up on the top floor. So hopefully this will help you out. If you do have any questions, please comment below or send us an email and we'll help you out. Bye for now. Next video, make sure you don't miss it. It's more visa related. Bye for now. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe? Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe.